Hey guys, um, as I promised, I'll go through very quickly actually through my code because I started making a video and it took me half an hour to go through uh, just a couple of items just to explain my thought train. And I think it doesn't make sense. It, it as 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 I think if you just go, I'll show you my code and kind of just give you quick hints. And if you rewrite my code, but make sure it looks different. Just change the variables. Don't use the same kind of um, let's say instead of none, you can call it string or whatever, just because that's the initiation of of the string here. Uh, and just make sure it doesn't look the same because we both will be in trouble if if, if it looks the same. But I want what I want you to do is kind of understand how I approach the first the first um, part of the CA. Uh, which is kind of making average the list of the dictionaries actually uh, the dictionaries of the the average um, values for months and average values for years yeah I don't have anything further than that I don't have them sorted that's another probably uh, difficult um, bit there uh, but unfortunately I have to leave you alone to do it although I know there's a, a couple of guys who finished the CA so I'm, I'm sure they'll be happy to help you so you know just just uh, post post it on on our group and I'm sure there's a there, there's a couple of guys who will gladly help you uh, with any problems you you might have but let let me just show you how to kind of at least start the the, the the CA so this bit here is slightly modified um, code from um from to do, 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 from mark's um github which you can find on 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 the web courses here oh sorry no i don't want that so if you go to your web courses and you go to um mark's follies um course content github and you click on this link, you'll open Mark's GitHub, and then you can go to uh, Python and go to get URL, read URL, yeah? And you can take this, which I did, and just paste it, paste it in here. I actually have to, a bit too much. I don't need the header. That bit doesn't have to be here. I just left it, so uh, you might as well just skip from here to this point oh sorry this is actually marks yeah so you can skip it you don't don't do this and we can go straight to here that's the body of the of the file so anyway i'll go i'll just scroll very slowly through my code so you can stop the video and i'll rewrite it and think about it and make sure you you get it because it doesn't make sense for you to to get a you know even to pass i know it's harsh but kind of don't <laughs> it doesn't make sense for anyone to pass and don't get what what you passed about you know it's, it's not english sorry what, what what was the course about yeah so uh, if you get it, rewrite it. If you don't get it, maybe maybe just just write it in your way and see what Mark Mark thinks about it. Okay, so here it is. This is Mark's code, slightly modified. So let's say here, is, so we don't have to every time paste the, the 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 URL. It's it's always there. If you go here, that's UTF eight oh, every time, so you don't have to write what the, what's the, the uh, encoding. Blah blah blah. We go here, and that's the I'll scroll up to here. That's after Mark's code. So this is my um, body of the of the file. This is the body of the file. It's the content of the file. Yeah. So that's the CSV, which is a comma separated value file. And as you can see, this is all comma separated except for every time when there is a line break. This is better organized in Excel. You see here, this is, oh, I showed that before when I was doing the half an hour video. Uh, so every time here, there's actually a hidden backslash N. This is how ASCII says, no, yeah, there's there's a line break there, actually. So, and here as well. Yeah, and what we want to do is replace it with commas. One comma, 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 sorry. 
or two commas, one comma. Uh, I know that it's it, it will become visible actually, but it doesn't matter. We won't be looking at it anyway. It's just for Python to to know what's going on. So I take this I call it I call the variable decoded. You can call it body. You can call it content. Whatever. And take the result one from and the result here as if if you stop here result is get url that's our get url and it will give you result zero which is header and then result one which is the content okay so this is the content here and i want that content to be slightly changed as i said before i want all the backslash n become commas so that way I can just split it with the comma, yeah? So take the decoded, replace it, uh, replace the backslash with commas and then split it with commas. And that way you create a, a, a very long list of all the items um, in in the in the file. Sorry, the cat is meowing here. Yeah. Again, <laughs> we have them on all the videos. Um, Okay, fake off. And to do, do here. Sorry. Yeah, so I want that big list to be just item after item. This item, comma, this, uh, sorry, next and next and next. And these are separate items in my in my uh, list, yeah? Another one, another one. They're, they wouldn't look like this. They would be just a very long, long, long list. There is no line break, there's no comma, nothing. Just very long uh, list uh, with a lot of items in it. And every item is, is, is every value here, okay? So then we go here and I create a counter and then I create stop at. Stop at is seven because I I'm going to go to, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, yeah, seven, seven columns here so i'll be going row by row and i'll be uh, that's why i need to kind of skip seven and seven and then uh, well that's that's my way to do it okay then i go check bond and again you can call it something different call it different and call call this different and then this is just for initiating a string as if you put something that is string inside of the variable Python automatically says, okay, so this is string now. Okay, the same here. And then I create um, a dictionary here, one dictionary and second dictionary. Uh, that's how you create a dictionary, yeah, an empty one. And then I go for a loop. And that loop, that will, that will take a lot of time for me to kind of, as I said, go through the the thought train so i'll just leave you kind of have a look at it think if if it, if it says anything to you rewrite it and if 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 you get it if you know why it is what it is then the happy days just rewrite it in your in your uh, own words let's say using your own um variables and so on and a slightly different uh, I scroll down just for you to see the full. Oh, sorry. Uh, you need it only up to here. Yeah. And this is the comment for the next. So you don't need the comment actually. And that's it. Okay. So just go through it. See if you get it. Uh, make sure the indentation is exactly the same. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, on the other hand, obviously, try to make it look a, a slight, slightly different. Um, for example, this doesn't have to be plus equals. You can, this is also, um, how was the, oh, sorry. So, do, 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 do. you can also write stop at equals stop at plus seven. This is an equivalent of this. Sorry. This is exactly the same. You can write stop at plus equals seven, and this is what it means. This is stop at, take the stop at value, what that was originally in stop at, and add seven to it, and then store it in new stop at. Yeah, so the next time it's going to be the new one, and then we take the new one, we make it old, 
and and we add seven to it, and there's another another uh, b bigger value in it by seven increment of seven every time we do this. Yeah, so you can slightly change it, change the variables, make sure you get it, and you're you're free to use my uh, my approach. It's it's strange, but it works. Uh, I suppose it's a bit better than nothing. So that's how you can start. So let's go again. This is Mark's code. This is still Mark's code. Then there is my code. And that's where I stop. Um, and that's where I stop uh, sorting only. So I'm not so, sorry, without sorting. So I just made two dictionaries which have on one side it has um so the key of of the of the dictionary the keys because it's plural are either months or years and the values of those keys are uh, the 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 average for that month or that year okay check what the dictionary is and what the key is and what the value is if you don't if you don't know what I'm talking about and then you'll know what I'm why did I go with this approach? Okay, sorry that that's it's so brief, but I think it's better for you than me rambling. I I, I did that in half an hour before, and I wasn't even in the in the middle of it. I think you're better off if you listen to me for twelve minutes and then just try to think about it on your own. Okay, happy coding, and see you soon.